You couldn't even do this, like even five, 10 degrees. He couldn't do this without really sharp, severe pain. He couldn't turn, pronate and supinate his wrist this way. Hi, my name is Dr. David Culla with Synergy Wellness in New York City. Today we have Kevin here who has a sprained wrist. He just lifted up a heavy box. So we're gonna show you how we treat a sprained wrist. We're on, what is this, treatment number three, right? Okay, how are you doing so far, first of all? Uh, a lot better. I can actually move my wrist, close my hand, clamp it, turn my hand over pretty. Okay, wow. Pretty, so. Wow, that's great. Okay, uh, I wish I had shown you his wrist. Uh, on the last visit, or even two visits ago, uh, when he first came in, he couldn't even, you couldn't even do this, like even five, 10 degrees. He couldn't do this without really sharp, severe pain. He couldn't turn, pronate, and supinate his wrist this way. He's doing much better. So what we did for him is cold laser therapy. This is amazing, I'm telling you. If you've never tried it and you have any soft tissue injuries, you gotta try this. So, um, and then we did some adjusting. So we're gonna laser him again. We're gonna adjust the uh, wrist again today if it needs it, and the fingers as well. And then I also checked his elbow. So um, why don't you take this uh, sweatshirt off? Okay, so this laser has an impedance meter so we're able to find areas of inflammation and swelling. So I'm just gonna scan your wrist here. Okay. So it beeps, it tells me when there's inflammation underneath the skin surface here. It'll tell me how long to dose it for. And this won't take, the wrist is really easy when you're treating. So something I wanna discuss with you guys, um, these lasers are only FDA approved for carpal tunnel syndrome, which is what? wrist pain, numbness in the palms and the hands. Um, laser works really well for carpal tunnel syndrome because the joint, the uh, wrist joint is so thin and the laser is able to penetrate through. And I just find that we get results really quickly with cold laser and any kind of wrist injury. And we did a video of another young lady, um, Simone, that had a really bad wrist sprain like him. And within one treatment, I think she was almost 90% better. So this is definitely a promising application if you've sprained your wrist. If you sprained it and it's not getting better, folks, go ahead and make sure you get that taken care of, get some cold laser therapy. Some physical therapist's office have them, but they're expensive. There, and it beeped over that spot, which is right over the wrist here. Um, they're very expensive, so some physical therapy clinics have them, but a lot don't. I find more chiropractors have lasers. Um, why that is, I don't know. Because cold laser helps with soft tissue, and that's what physical therapy is, the study of soft tissue. Muscles, tendons, and ligaments. But again, many of them don't use this. It is new technology, so if they're not you know, reading the latest research, and you know, they might not be apt to, to get a machine like this, especially because this little machine here uh, costs the price of a car, a new car. Wow. Not a Mercedes, thank God, but um, you know, maybe a, uh, what is that, a, a Mini, Mini Cooper or something like that, or Toyota. like a, a Toyota Camry or something like that. Yeah. Definitely does work though, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. and um, also what helps is to know his mechanism of injury, right? So it's really important uh, if you hurt yourself to explain to the doctor what you did. In other words, I stepped down and hurt myself on the stair or you, ne you need to be specific about how you hurt yourself. So he had his wrist like this and he was, right? You were lifting a box like that with the hand brought back. So that helped me a lot. I was able to figure out what the best adjustment would be for him. Um, had he not told me that or not remembered how he sprained his wrist, I would have, to, I would have had to done a, a much more deeper assessment of his wrist and elbow uh, to determine where and what we needed to adjust. This spot's taken a little bit more than a minute. Okay, 
And do you have any pain at all in the wrist? And if you do, where is the pain? Uh, the pain is typically over here. Right there. But it's yep. only when I carry heavy stuff or if okay. I try to move it a bit too much. Okay. It gets a bit like tight or almost like electricity feeling almost. When okay. You're again. Uh, only when you hold something. Do you have any of that electrical feeling down the hand if you lean on your elbow or anything like that? So you guys heard that. He said that he has like an electric feeling shooting down and into his hand when he carries something. So when you hear that, you're thinking nerve, right? Pinch nerve. Um, so we're gonna check his elbow just to make sure there's no issues there. I did check his elbow last time and I didn't find anything. So we'll check it again just to make sure because um, the ulnar radial nerve could be trapped here in the uh, in the elbow joint, more likely the ulnar nerve than the radial nerve. Okay. All right, guys, take a look. We're gonna go ahead and just palpate the wrist here. And just relax your elbow, yeah. Do you feel that? Uh, no, not really. No, okay, so we, we got some good movement there in the, uh, the ulnar bone. Okay, go ahead and move it around. See, like right there? Yeah. It's where I kind of got stopped. Okay. There's some tightening. Right In there? Okay. Yeah. That kind of prevents me from moving any further. Yeah, right there. Does that hurt when I do that? When you squeeze underneath right here? Yeah. How about here? You feel that just go back into place there? Yeah, I felt that. Okay. So I adjusted him. I did a different type of adjustment right there. Um, you guys probably couldn't see any impulse. But go ahead and move it now back and see how that feels. A lot better. Actually. A lot better. Yeah. There's no resistance now in my wrist. Yeah. Well, let's hope you didn't uh, stretch out any ligaments there in your wrist. You know, uh, hopefully this holds. Um, we're going to check your uh, elbow. So come on over here, lay on the table on your back. Okay, so we're just going to do a quick elbow assessment here. Okay. I'm like that. I'm going to open the arm up. Don't let me open. Ready? Resist. Good. Any pain? No. Okay. Bring your hand back and hold any pain okay and you f you felt something click there it right click, yeah. yeah so luckily i pushed in the direction it would need to be corrected anyway okay. um if i did it this way i would have to go back in and adjust you again yep okay. so now we're going to go like this here so i'm checking his elbow right now and resist felt you felt that too yep Okay, and it was strong, so his elbow's okay. Now we're gonna go through the range of motion because I don't know if you guys heard that, all sorts of cracking when I tested that in his wrist so and forearm. So I want you to go ahead and move the, the wrist more and... Yeah, it's a lot easier. It's even easier now. I have very little pain, although I do still feel the tightness mm -hmm. over here now. Okay, that'll be gone by next week, okay? okay. So all right. So. All right, great, you're all set, okay? Thank you very much. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. If you guys have any questions about wrist sprains, I don't know, shoulder sprains and strains, knee sprains and strains, ankle strains, comment below. Thanks for tubing in, guys. And thanks for letting us shoot a video here of you. No problem.